there, sports fans. This is Play It Right TV. I'm Kenito Hanson. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another show. We are super happy to be able to talk to the greatest about the latest here in sports on Play It Right. And today, we are going to talk to a brand new professional volleyball team, Kenito, uh, joining the PBL Reinforced Conference. We're so excited to talk to them, to hear what they have to say. First of all, let's welcome team manager Mosey Ravenna and players, some of their players, Danny Ravenna and Michelle Cobb. Welcome and to Play It Right. Sorry, Power Chargers. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> Everyone. Hello. Atari Hello. Power Chargers. Yeah, it's going to start <laughs> October 8th. We're so excited. <laughs> Ten teams are going to be playing. Plus, there are imports, Diane. Kanya, we've, we're going to find out from Mosey and the players how they're gelling with their import, who their import is, and what we can expect from Akari. Whoa. Yeah, when I attended the press conference and they announced that there was going to be a new team, Akari, I was super curious about who this team was. So, sure enough, uh, Mosey, tell us how the team was formed and when they asked you to be the manager, how did it all come about, the Power Chargers? Well, initially, hello, first of all, hello, Sir Kenito, hello, Hi. Dan. Um, thank you for inviting us. Well, um, before it was just a dream, you know, with uh, with the the owner of Ahari, Sir Christopher Tu, and the the management, we were just toying around. Uh, and, uh, oh, let's join since they're uh, backing up the Adamson for the longest time, uh, both in basketball and volleyball. So, we baka next step is the professional level, naman. So we were just para uh, toying with it, and then finally, para oh, let's do it. Let's try to do it. But um, initially. We wanted to join next year. Next year, mm. pa sana. But, um, 2023. Uh, oh, oh, but when we met with uh, Sir Ricky Palu, galing ni Sir Ricky eh. <laughs> <laughs> so, parang big lang yung owner. Alika na, let's join na, sabi niya. But, so, ang challenge was, um, we were joining in the, at the middle of the season or middle of the year. So, most right. of the players were really tied up with their contracts. So, that was a challenge. But for the less, wala naman expectation. So, sige, let's just form it. So, slowly, ayun, nag, nag, ano, come into play na, na form namin yung Akari, finally. Yung Akari Chargers team. Well, mostly you had tryouts last July. Ilan na mga sumipot sa tryouts? At uh, paano nyo napili kung sino yung magkakaroon ng chemistry sa team? Because I noticed that your players come from different schools. There's Ateneo, there's Adamson, FEU, there's Arellano, there's La Salle, NU, Sambeda. Parang yun na nahalo-halo ito mga players, Mosey. Well, uh, nung, nung tryout, that was really, ano, we were really amazed na ang dami. I think mga 50 players came. 50? So we got surprised. Wow. Yeah, because um, wow. sabi nga namin, that was the, really the challenge, no? yung, yung looking for players. Because UAAP was still going on, so we didn't know kung sino yung uh, mag mag-graduate or kung sino pwede namin kunin. So when we held the tryout, wow, grabe dami talaga. We were so surprised <laughs> and we were so happy, obviously, no? And um, eventually, uh, the na trim down, actually, it took a long time eh, before we trimmed down. Ang dami namin, tagal for a long time. Kasi nga, it was so hard to pick yung mga players kasi ang daming magagaling, Sir uh, Kinito and Dayan. Um, and uh, yun yung, yun, you know naman, in every team, the hardest part is yung nagka-cut, di ba? So talaga, we really had the hard time. Pwedeng-pwede pa kasi maglaro most of them. And uh, we had to go to the direction of, are we putting up a young team? Or uh, pick muna just for this third conference. So eventually, parang um, we geared towards forming a young team. Pero ano um yun nga luckily naman we got all these players. So we were blessed by ano by the, these players. Lalo na si Michelle. Dami ko mo kuwak ni Michelle. Pero <laughs> yun nga what a blessing she said yes to us. <laughs> De ba Michelle? <laughs> How funny naman, first you were problematic about who, that you wouldn't have any players and 50 players showed up, now your problem was how, who to pick, right? So, Michelle, coming from GLSU, what, what, what attracted you to the Akari team that, that made you give your yes to them? Um, 
eh, well like what Tita Mozi said then mer meron din po kasi ako naging options noon and coming from like I didn't play for two years I wasn't really eyeing to play again actually but the thought oh, that really? you know teams are actually um, approaching me and one of them is Tita Mozi and Tita Mozi was really like you know <laughs> like really para following up like messaging me as in um that kind of made me think na parang ah um maybe this is what i really am planned to do na um i have to play again and um i think with akari then um i felt more secure i guess and i felt more sure about the team even though it's a new team like it's the irony and all um but yeah uh, i was drawn to to joining this team and here I am now. <laughs> yeah, but quick follow up lang. You said that you were thinking of not playing volleyball uh, volleyball anymore. Why is that? Um, I actually was like um I stepped aside after uh twenty twenty. So I was I wasn't part of any team that time. And I actually I was out of the country when she messaged me. So parang out of the blue sha. It was really mm. like a decision that I jumped in lang like I was like okay maybe this is a sign or something so um and I felt good about it naman like um my decision and all so yeah you know <laughs> well Danny what's it like playing against or with rather uh, Michelle because you played against her many times in the UAP now you're together how does that feel and also you're getting together with uh, players whom you've played with and you've played against oh definitely of course i would always tell at image finally hindi mo na ako hindi na ikaw yung magse-serve on the other side you're finally my teammate because you know, all all these years na i was playing for ateneo you know at image should always um give hard serves of course the whole assault team now she's my teammate finally um na lesson yung opponents ko na mahirapan mag receive but again you know all jokes aside i feel like um uh, at the Mitch also came from such a great system such a great school and being able to learn from her also every day it's very like it's very exciting and at the same time um we just really enjoy the time that we have because nga, again young team siya so almost the same age kami lahat so we get along we we got along easily and um every day that I get such an exciting experience because you really don't know what's gonna happen for that day so you're a young team obviously yeah. full of energy enthusiasm <laughs> to join your first ano, pro league here in the Philippines what's it like some mga practice Danny and uh make us quen a little bit how your first few practice sessions went with coach Jorge and your mom being the manager yeah. is, that, is that hard or is that uh uh oh, how, how is it <laughs> i think it's um a mix of emotions of course because people would say na i took the easier route coming into akari wherein my mom's the manager but i think it's like the opposite it was actually the harder the, like a harder decision a harder team because even if i don't play or even if i do play they're always gonna say now it's because of the mom or it's because of you know her connections and whatnot but yeah. at the same time you know it's always a challenge for me naman coming into this i i think anything naman that na i come into there's always gonna be pressure but again i feel that having those expectations for me is better than people not having any expectations at all so i just really enjoy it um now that i consider myself as a rookie because it's my first year here in the pros it's really true that life starts after college um, I bring all my lessons and all the experiences that you know I, ex I I've learned from in Ateneo and also my high school volleyball days into this um, team. Lahat ng pinaghirapan ko during those years, I'm bringing it in the team, and you know I just want to help the team in any way that I can. Despite being a young team, we know that you know we have a lot of um, things to uh, bring out to the table, and we're just all very excited to play this conference. Well, spoken like a true leader, Danny, mm -hmm. but uh, you mentioned your mom. Okay, let's bring the questions back to Mosey Ravenna now. <laughs> Mosey, you've been successful in so many parts of your career. As a player, two UAAP championships with UST, and then you became a commentator 
also very successful because uh, of your insightful analysis. Now you're the manager. Uh, how, how different is the switch and the transformation? And uh, how excited are you that you're given this uh, new role? Well, uh, basically, naman, talaga, what I want in life, no, in general, is uh, to help out uh, young volleyball players, whether sa men, sa women, you know, grade school, high school, college, it doesn't matter. It's really just uh, helping, period, uh, the volleyball players in the Philippines. So in every little way that I can, whether sa UAAP yan, NCAA, or uh, uh, even si siguro in a bigger scale, uh, that's just uh, parang a thing that I really want to do in life. And finally, nga, ito, another uh, platform for me to do it. Diba? So, so I'm just so lucky. Yung, uh, um, I thank God na, na nabibigyan ako ng mga ganito opportunities. And uh, uh, I just feel blessed that I'm able to do what I, I really love. Yeah, we can see that you're so super excited about the, mm. about this <laughs> PEBL. And you know, it's a very exciting conference because of the imports, right? So each team is having an import and that that's going to be a big difference. Now, talk to us about your import, please. Priscilla Rivera, she's uh, multi-awarded, has played in so many clubs all over the world. She's from the Dominican Republic. I believe she's played in one Olympics in 2004, uh, six foot one. So, Mosey, Michelle, and Danny, how is you tell us about your import? Start with you, Mozi Muna. Okay, so she's a three-time Olympian. And she has carried the Dominican Republic talaga in the world stage. So, kumbaga, isa siya dun sa mga integral part of where Dominican Republic is now in the volleyball world. So, um, she started during her team years, the national team. So, she really grew with the national team. And uh, what's good about her now? is that uh, I think she just finished yung ano eh, parang third level coaching course. So oh. she's a perfect fit to us. Wow. Alam mo, a sobrang swerte namin because um, talagang she teaches the players kaya natutuwa kami because in, in fact, syempre, young players nga, so we're just starting from the bottom talaga. So it's a learning process every day. Tapos we get this import na magaling na siya, not only magaling na siya, but he's so, she's so patient in teaching the kids. Yun mm. talaga, sa stop niya in practice, tapos sasabihin niya, magbibigay siya ng mga, mga inputs niya. So, we, ano, sobrang galing. And uh, I'm really, we're really happy. Na hindi namin kasi na-expect na ganon. But uh, it's such a welcome treat to the team. Especially a learning team like us. Michelle, what about you? Uh, Priscilla, just going over her credentials, my gosh, in the 2021 Tokyo Olympics, she was the flag bearer of the Dominican Republic. And she's received oh. so many awards from the Senate of the Dominican Republic, from the Santo Domingo, um, so many awards because uh, she's actually played over 20 years for the Dominican Republic national team. Ever since she was 15, she's now 37. So, Michelle... Uh, when you see a player like this as a teammate and as a coach, um, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? What do you want to learn from someone like her? Of course, I think major thing that I would want to learn is um, her sharing her experience in a way, her maturity since she's been playing for I'm 23 and she's been playing for 27 yeah. years. So that's very like, you know, you can tell na iba yung experience. And um, personally, like, I kind of, um, I feel na she's really gonna teach us a lot. And she's really gonna, as a young team, she's really gonna carry in a way. And as a setter also, I have that sort of pressure in myself that I really wanna do good. You know, I really wanna set her good, set her up good. And I don't know, from the, the past trainings that we've been together, it's just, I guess, to describe it, uh, magaan po yung loob ko kasi then again, like what Tita Mosi said, um, you, can, you can really see na, you know, she, she, she has comments. And it's not even like a uh, comment lang. It's, it's about, you know, getting better. You can see the coach in her, the player in her, the Olympian in her. So um, it's very inspiring. It's very inspiring. And... Um, I also talked uh, with my teammates about it. Na, um, it's really like something to look forward to. Na what she can bring to us, 
because it's really one of a kind for me. So being a young team, I guess, Danny, it's so valuable to have someone like Priscilla there, na <laughs> teammate na, na parang, you know, added voice with so much experience. What's it, what's it been like for you? Uh, I, I believe she started practicing with you, like, uh, not too long, pero kamusta yeah. naman yung mga practices with her? Oh, definitely same as Ate Mitch. Magan talaga yung loob namin um, with Ate. We call her Ate Pri, so she knows... Um, <laughs> Yeah, Ate Pri, but uh, we mentioned that in the Philippines, your older sister is called Ate, so we just call her by Ate. And, you know, I feel like she's also very excited because, again, you new team, nakita niya na we're makulet, you're very rowdy, so she's there, <laughs> she's really like the one to hold us down when it's getting um uh, too noisy or kumbaga na out of focus kami. Um, we all we have it all in her. We have you know an older sister. We also have a coach. We also have a teammate. So again, very very blessed, Kamena. She's um with us this conference. And again, for me personally, I'm just really enjoying every moment with her because it's not every day that you get to um play and be beside with um an Olympian and someone that parang um started so young and still continuing playing the sport that we all love and. It's hindi siya biro to be with her kasi parang you just wanna really if I can just listen to her everything that she has to say about volleyball if may pede lang na I would go to her condo <laughs> lang I would visit yeah. her siguro soon if we're ano closer na but I feel like the same with Atimich you you will really learn a lot from her and she's um very patient with us which is something that um I really appreciate and so hopefully naman we all gel together well and it's not gonna happen overnight. So we're just gonna work and work um, every day until, you know, um, the conference. And hopefully, talaga, we get to bring out the best. And of course, um, you guys will definitely see Queen Priscilla inside the club. Wow. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michelle, I just wanted to ask you, you mentioned something about your role as a setter. Um, that's a very, very big responsibility on your shoulders. and. I guess, you know, if you're a setter, you have to be a little unpredictable para hindi mabasa ng kalaban kung saan mapupunta yung bola. And at the same time, you have to show a lot of trust in your teammates. Kasi kung dadali mo yung bola sa teammate mo, dapat buo loob mo na, you know, they'll do something good with the pass that you're going to give, with the set that you're going to give. No? Um, I just want to ask you, uh, Michelle, um, how important is it that you trust your teammates, especially when you have someone like Priscilla on the court with you? It's very important because my role then po is to give them composure in a way. And I guess parang give it a turn po yun na they trust me and I trust them. I guess that's uh -huh. the, the, the healthy composition dapat inside the team. And um, yeah, trust is very, very important because yun nga, uh, you're, you're, you're basically setting the tempo of the team. And as a setter, like what I said, it's up to you how you make your hitters work and how you you give them the confidence to you know or, or to bring the best in them so um very important then po, i guess with danny ren like the the setter uh, uh leader to setter trust and then there's the setter to hitter trust and everything has to be in sync then with with the team so yeah i think that's a very important um it plays a very important role in, in making the team work. So Mosey, you obviously know every team, every player, right? Mm -hmm. You've you've seen them from all sides. <laughs> what are you telling your team so that they can be? You obviously know the level of each team, right? Uh, what are you telling your team to be able to be competitive, which I'm sure Akari wants to be in this reinforced conference. Well, ako naman, uh, I leave the coaching to the coaches. It's a <laughs> similar basic. Talaga. Um, but, yeah, oh. Kahit minsan may gusto ko na sabihin, but I leave it to the coaches. Siyempre, that's their expertise. But uh, always yung team, I always remind them that uh, despite being a new team, we know naman, siguro uh, experience-wise, we're at the bottom because everybody got to play already for so many years, uh, all our opponents. So, uh, but 
we have to make sure that we work our way up. And uh, meaning each day, every day in practice, we have to give our 100% and uh, that we go out of the court every time learning something, whether it's about your character as a player, whether it's about your skill, as long as you learn something every day. And that's I know already an achievement for us. But slowly but surely, we want to make the team uh, a better team every day. Ganon lang. Wala naman major, uh, major expectations. But yun nga, first and foremost, is that para I, if I see them, that they're loving every day, they're going to practice with all that uh, ano ba, excitement. Yun, uh, <laughs> tapos, focus sila, especially now that Priscilla's here, na nakikinig sila. Alam ko that eventually we will get where we want, where we, where we want to be. So, okay. Uh, happy, so far, happy naman yung team talaga. Uh, Mosi, you mentioned yung coach ninyo, no? Si Jorge uh, De Brito. He's a national women's coach. How much of an advantage is it that, number one, you have a foreign Brazilian coach who was so experienced, and number two, that you have the national coach with you who really has a very broad perspective of the game? Well, si Coach Jorge kasi, one thing din na nag-click for us is that kasi he is a very ano, um, fundamental coach. Yung kumbaga, he, he tweaks the basics. Pag nakikita mm -hmm. niyang may mga bad habits, uunahin niya yun gamutin. So, mm -hmm. talaga we started from, let's say, yung mga older players, uh, inaayos niya yung mga yung fundamentals nila, yung basic volleyball skills nila. So, he is very patient. So, sakto siya sa team because we have a lot of... Um, of college players so who really uh, needs to learn the uh, yung new skills as a uh, going to the next level as a professional uh, player so si coach are very patient at uh, then again no na nakakuha kami ng coach syempre ako um, when you're in the professional level you don't expect coaches to do that anymore eh diba na yung uh, yung basics mo ipapolish pa niya syempre you don't expect that but with coach are i think in the beginning Yun muna yung inayos niya with all our players and then eventually yon parang we started na with the ang tagal namin bago nag scrimmage talagang di ba parang lately lang recently lang so apani ano lang basics lang so but I think uh, ano naman it's uh, doing well it's working well for the players then. I'm super excited to watch your team now you're getting me all excited for Akari <laughs> huh. <laughs> I wanted to. That I wanted to ask sure, Danny, We have to work huh? our way up. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been wanting to ask Danny this question for a while now. You know, I've watched you since college and everything. You have <laughs> sports people all around you. Very competitive, high level, driven family members. Your mom, your dad, and your two brothers, keeper and thirty. Kanino ka ba nakikinig mostly? Or do, or do you have a special like? connection na talagang when you want to ask something or kung down ka or humihihi ka ng advice, sino yon? Yeah. I think I'm very lucky and all of my family members, they have their own also technicality with volleyball. Of course, you know, my mom is the go-to person of anything related to volleyball. Um, but if I want na parang medyo on the, a little bit of a sugar-coated advice, yung medyo on the, ano, Okay. So I feel like even if I do a bad game, he's always gonna be magaling ka anak. I feel like you know he's always gonna be that because one, I think he also doesn't understand you know volleyball as as well as my mom. So as long as as long as I kita nang maayos yung attitude ko, I don't get mad inside the court. He's fine. <laughs> but you know, um, <laughs> with my brothers, the man, I feel um, they're also both very different when it comes to um, really serious advice. I would also always go to Kiefer or Simanong. He's kind of the same with my mom. Um, would always tell me where I'm wrong if I do something na hindi naman dapat gawin, or if I can improve um, on something. They would definitely talk directly. Um, but when it comes to thirty. I feel like it's with me and Kuya, it's like a competition no matter what. So if he says something, I feel like I can't accept it completely. I have to say something <laughs> back. 
So it's like so, it's like a uh, cat and dog always. But I know that it comes from a good yeah. So it comes from a good heart. So super asalan lang kami ni Kuya. So I'm very blessed, of course, that I have those people around me who really understand not just volleyball but also um how I should act both on and off the court. It would be fun to listen in, no? Kinito, it'd be fun to listen in on one of their uh, dinner conversations. You know, like family, how, family you know. uh, but just to follow up on Diane's point about family, um, do you feel any pressure? Because, number one, your dad, five-time PBA champion. Your mom, two-time UAP champion. 30, three-time UAP champion. <laughs> Um, Kiefer, two-time UAP champion. You won a championship yourself yeah. in the UAP. So every time you step on the on the on the court, the fans are sort mm. of expecting. Wow, Ravienato, yeah. dapat e manalo ng championship. You feel that kind of pressure because of your family name, or do you go out there and just try to enjoy the moment playing the game that you love? Oh, I think that's something. You know, pressure is something I can never. Um, leave talaga or can never stay away from. I think I I learned that as I grew older. Before, kasi I would just like, ano ba yan? Bakit ba kasi? Why are people bashing me for no reason just because I'm a Ravenna? Like, it's not my fault, you know? But mm-hmm. at the same time, realizing um all of the accomplishments that my family earned throughout the years and through with their sport, I feel that it's better to have that pressure because it means, you know, when you hear the word Ravenna, you expect greatness. So for mm-hmm. me, it's something I have to really strive for as much as they did. You know, my parents worked hard for their own achievements. My brothers worked hard for it. And people will always just see um, the end result, see the journey that it took each and every one of us to get there. And it's something that parang we all just, um, just that's our bonding. Na yung, we know the struggles of each and every one of us. And... It just makes our bond stronger as a family and also as individuals. We know that um, we ourselves, you can carry yourselves kung um, talo man sa game or panalo. Um, it's always just so easy to bounce back because of the strong support system that we've always had since we were young. So we just bring that every day, you know, just um, trust the process, work harder and make sure that, you know, we put in the work so that the results will be something that uh, really achieved for so hopefully I get to do that in this um, conference and this pro season that um, it's gonna be my first time being in the pro so yeah let's go Danny Ravenna yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. so I wanted to ask Michelle Naman who are your who are your volleyball influences and who did you look up to uh, learning the game and developing your game Michelle. Um, I think I would really. Hello. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I think I would really owe it more to my university experience, like being under La Salle, being under Coach Ramil. Um, he, uh, yeah. I feel like I really owe it to him. Uh, how I play now is really because um, he taught me a lot of things. He taught me a lot of technical things. How to, you know, my character now. Um, he sharpened everything for me, sort of, to put it that way. And also being around great players like, um, you know, Sla Ate Kim, um, Kim Fajardo. And I guess in total, just the whole LaSalle experience, I really, I would say I really learned a lot and I, I sort of um, mastered it there, you know, with, with the training and all staying there for almost five years. So, yeah, it, major part po is being under the under DSU and their program. Well, Michelle, you know, just Diane, like I see, seeing it, yeah, like kay Michelle, no? You uh-huh. know, when when the ba when we were trying to get her, sabi nga niya, tita, I haven't played for two years. Baka wala akong laro. Sabi mm. ko kanon. So, sabi ko, Michelle, it's all right. Sabi ko, ano, um, slow tayo, slow process. Take your time. Um, we just want you with us as we want you to get back to your playing. Um, sige lang, sabi ko, uh, ano lang, uh, patient ka lang, take your time. So, tapos nung nakita niya naman siya nung nagpa-practice, sabi ko talaga sa self ko, 
Grabe yung ano rin, grabe rin si Ramil. I thought of Coach Ramil. Sabi uh-huh. ko, iba rin talaga yung turo ni Coach Ramil sa mga players niya. Kasi despite of, ano nga siya, she, she didn't play for two years, pero you can see the skills. It's, it was still there. Nandun pa rin yung uh, the old Michelle. Makikita mo pa rin, siguro konting polish lang, pero wala nakabalik kagad. So, I guess yun nga, tama si Michelle, no? yung university experience. And si Coach Ramil also. Well, just, yeah, and just like Danny, uh, Michelle also has championship pedigree. He won two championships in three seasons in the UAP, so big congratulations for that. But Michelle, uh, before this interview, you mentioned that you had played for F2 in the PSL, so that was still an amateur club at that time. So you've had, although you played you know, with Asal and the, and the F, F, U, F2 mantle, um, do you feel that experience with F2 La Salle um, sort of prepared you for the pros? And how motivated are you? Because you hadn't played in two years and uh, till Mosey called you and asked you over. How motivated are you to get back that that spirit that you showed when you were playing for La Salle? I think what motivated me was uh, basically just me being idol for two years and mm-hmm. the fact that I had so much time to reflect on myself whether or not I actually want to do this and just go to show I really want to do it so parang I guess I'm, in a way it's just me na na-awaken lang yung parang you know competitiveness ko and all because you know I kind of put that aside eh, um going into the pandemic and all so just like feeling this again uh, you know I'm ready to play again, feeling all the stuff na I was used to feeling before. Parang it just gives me so much motivation. And the more na, you know, now na I'm in the pros na and with a new team and with new teammates, it's all just very exciting because I really want to um, go into it, you know, wholeheartedly because, I mean, I got nothing to lose now. Like, I just want to play, you know? So basically, yun lang, like, sobrang uh, fresh start basically for me and what motivates me now is really just for the love of the game honestly that's what i'm seeing long now it's really you know missing the intensity missing all like the crowd and all like the trainings everything like life of an athlete so um yeah <laughs> exciting buti na lang yeah. uh, buti na lang aggressive at uh, persistent si Mosi, no well, I'm sure that you guys are going to build your own fans, your fa- your own fan base. You're a new team, so maka you want to invite your you know valuable viewers to come and witness what Akari Power Chargers is all about. I'll start with Danny. Oh. Uh, of course, I just want to say thank you, of course, to everyone who's been supporting the Kari Chargers, um, even if you haven't played. But again, um, thank you, and hopefully, dumami pa kayo, dumami pa tayo as a family. And we just really want to make you guys proud. Um, we will make sure that we will give it our all this season, each and every game, each and every training. We will pour our hearts and soul out. Sana ma-enjoy na lahat. And hopefully, this will be a very successful and injury-free season for everybody. Yeah, I just want to say thank you po to our supporters and fans. And despite us being new and young, you know, um, nakakatawa po na makikita po kami na supporters. And um, yeah, we are all very excited to play for all of you and get back to the court. And yeah, I hope to see you po all in the games. All right. And Mosey, a final message to uh, the fans. And also, if you could just insert, who would be your toughest opponent? in this coming conference. And we all know that Cream Line is looking for a Grand Slam. They won two championships so far. They're looking for that third jewel. Will Akari and the rest of the gang put a stop to them? Mosey. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> tough everyone. Because uh, since we're okay. a new team, I really want to see ourselves starting from the bottom, diba? And work our way up. Um, that's naman, that's the re- one reality and also that the goal is to work our way up. Uh, but uh, again, first of all, thank you, Seno. I, I mean, lastly, thank you, uh, Diane, and thank you, Sir Kinita, for inviting us over. 
And uh, to the people who are supporting us right now, uh, hiling lang namin that you guys be patient. And uh, sabi nga ni Daddy, parang full effort naman on our part to play each and every game to the fullest, to the most of, our abil of their abilities. And uh, siguro, ano, it's really just to show the people na Ayun nga, volleyball is growing, may bagong team, and uh, also yung Akari is uh, a team that enjoys and uh, loves the sport so much that uh, we'll go all out each time you see us play. Ako, nice. uunahin ko na lahat ng mga fans to congratulate Akari for breaking into the PVL. And Mozi, congratulations for having these two very yes. vocal, articulate, and super smart players in Michelle and Danny. I mean, they were so impressive in their remarks in this interview. Um, you must be so proud of both of them. Oh, si Michelle may extra pa yan. K-pop princess namin yan. May mga wow. hindi pa yan. <laughs> hindi pa na hindi pa alam. So, I'm very proud yeah. of all of them. May sample ba? May so sample. Wala, wala, wala. Oh, Michelle, let's go. <laughs> Michelle, si Sir Kinito na to. <laughs> next time, next time, sir. Next time. Okay, okay. Promise, but promise. you'll see us naman sa social media. You'd always see them naman yeah. on their oh para mga happy moments. So, is there, so uh, lagi is naman all of you yeah. having fun and uh, we're all looking forward to the coming PBL Reinforced Conference, especially looking forward to how Akari will perform in the end. Um, such an interesting uh, 30 minutes that we've had with Mozi, Danny, and Michelle. Loving the energy. Do you guys know who you're playing first? May drawn up, may schedule na ba or wala pa? I, wala pa yata, wala pang schedule. But <laughs> ano lang, kami lang, but just uh, be ready. <laughs> All right. Well, good good luck. Um, more power, and uh, we're really super excited to see what you're gonna be bringing to this to this conference. So welcome to the PBL, Akari Power Chargers. Let's go, thank girls. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for thank joining you. us. Thank you All for your best. time. All the best. Thanks. Thanks, Mozi. Thanks, Danny. And thanks, Michelle. Well, Diane, a brand new team for the PBL oh. <laughs> Reinforced Conference starting on October 8th. But you know what makes this team, I think, a dark horse for a championship? Uh, true, I agree. Priscilla Rivera of the Dominican Republic. This is a legend who's come over to the Philippines. She's played in nine different countries. She's played in Russia, Mexico, Spain. She's played in Turkey. She's coming off uh, a stint in Indonesia. So, you know, the experience and the smarts that she's able to show on the court and share with her teammates, I think that's going to go a long way. How exciting to see someone of her caliber playing here in the Philippines. I think that's yeah. going to inspire and push everybody up. As we can see, she's already doing with her team, with the young team. And, you know, I love the energy of Danny and Michelle. And, of course, the experience of Mozi and the caliber of Coach Jorge. I agree with you, Kenito. Baka dark horse nga itong Akari Power Chargers. So Just not forget, they've got a coach in Jorge De Brito who's Brazilian, and our national coach. So, malaking advantage din yan for Akari. Well, looking forward to the competition in the PBL Reinforced Conference. Well, we hope you enjoyed our conversation with the Akari team. And if you, if you could, like, comment, subscribe to our channel, and let us know what you think about our discussion. Join in, give us also uh, your, your feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining us and we hope to bring you more exciting and insightful episodes it was a play right and before we go we wanted to thank our sponsor our sister company who makes the show happen playitright.com please check them out they have super nice products for all sports you're gonna love them a6 mueller um, for volleyball basketball running a6 has the best running shoes i got i just got mine now i tried it for the first time the ff blast FF Plus, Plus, super nice. I love the color, the fit, how it hugs my foot. Anyway, I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan talaga of ASICs. So please check them out, playitright.com. Okay, well, this is Kenito Hanson thanking you again for joining us on Play It Right TV. God bless. Next time.